welcome to my youtube channel and in this video we are going to discuss eight important questions regarding javascript prototypes followed by two exercise questions for you guys to solve so if you like the video at the end do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as well so without wasting any further time let's go to our code runner and check those eight questions okay so our first question is explain prototype chain so this question is asked straightforward like this and the interviewer is basically looking for some sort of keywords in your answer so what keywords uh, is the interviewer looking for so how how are you going to answer this that uh, first of all all objects are the instances of an object in javascript right so it inherits its properties and methods from its prototype for example let's say you have a shape uh, called as circle and you have another shape called as rectangle so both of these uh, shapes are inheriting some of its properties from a pro from its prototype and what is its prototype let's call it shape so a shape will definitely have some height some width some circumference some radius depending on what kind of shape it is right so some of the properties and methods are fixed for every shape let's give it some space that if there is any shape it will take some space it will have some width so any shape that you will be defining whether it is circle rectangle triangle any shape it is going to inherit some of its properties from its prototype that is shape here and this shape object itself will inherit some of its properties from its own prototype from its own object dot prototype it could have any other general prototype and that prototype will move on to one step above one step above till the chain reaches the base object so what is the interviewer looking for it's looking for your prototype it's looking for base object it's looking for uh, a sentence where you are going to say that base object will not have any prototype and that's the end of the prototype chain and that is how you can define it with one example which is circle rectangle and shape this is the basic example of a prototype chain and you can define it uh, usually if it is been asked like explain prototype chain then you will not be expected to write a working example of it you will just have to explain it with an example right but if you have to explain it uh, with a working example and then you can write something like so you can write a very basic example of person object so i'm creating a constructor here so we will be using this constructor to create as many persons as we want so those persons will have first name last name and age so anytime you will create a new object it will be assigned first name last name and a certain age like this and now i'm going to create a method and i'm going to bind that method with person so that any time any new person is created using this constructor person constructor that method will automatically be given to that object so how can i do that person dot prototype dot let's say get full name and this is going to be a function which will return this dot first uh, and this dot last so that will be the last name uh, and the first name of the person and total a full name of the person so now we will create a new person object using this person constructor i'm going to give it a name k j and certain age and uh, finally when i'll console log p1 dot get full name so first of all you can see that it is already coming in auto suggestion get full name and when i'll run this i will get k and j so i have not created this method specifically for this person basically and i can use it automatically so that is the benefit of using prototype and that is the whole concept of prototype chain 
so that is the entire thing that i have covered in this question probably you don't have to answer the entire uh, range of the things that i have told you but the interviewer first of all is looking for some keywords and then one example that could be a thorough example like a example in theory the one we discussed as circle rectangle and shape otherwise if the interviewer is looking for a working example then this is the working example of how actually prototypes work so i hope this question is clear let's move on to the second one so this is the second question which is output related question um this is a string dot prototype dot give me one pizza so give me one pizza is a function and this function will have uh, is and in this function is bind to basically this string type of arguments so string object basically so any time you will call this you will get just give me one pizza and now here you have const name equals kiran but this is a primitive type of value whereas this string is an object right so when you will console log name dot give me one pizza what is going to be the console log answer for this so this is the question you can feel free to pause this video and try to crack this question down and if you cracked it down do let me know in the comment section otherwise let's run and let's check so you get just give me one pizza so what is happening here this primitive type will automatically be coerced into string type of object at any time it is converted into string object um this prototype will definitely be bind with this name as well so if it is bind with this name then you are going to get this function anywhere where you are saying string object because it is bind with now string object so name dot give me one pizza and you this statement will be returned and you are getting this as simple as that so i hope this question is also clear let's move on to the third one so your third question is the difference between proto and prototype what is the difference between proto and prototype so basically proto is the link that is created between your levels of prototype chain so let's say you have circle then you had shape and then you had one more object let's say three levels so this link that we are creating between this chain is directly created with proto slash slash proto slash slash so this direct link is proto whereas you are using prototype to create this link so uh, as we discussed in our previous question what we do is we do something like circle dot prototype dot some function so here you are creating this link using prototype but that link itself is slash slash proto slash slash so i hope these two things are crystal clear to you and this is often asked in interviews as well if you have any problem with this question or understanding this question do let me know in the comment section and we can take it further again otherwise let's move on to the question number 4 so this is the question number 4 which is output related question where you have a class dog constructor name and this is uh, a name that we are defining and then on the dog we have a prototype and it's a function bark uh, which is a function and it's just console logging something finally you created a pet using this dog and its name is mara and you called pet dot bark so what do you think is going to be the console log statement here when you call pet dot bark what is going to be uh the answer here at line 13 and finally you deleted this property right here dog dot prototype dot bark and finally you called it again so what is going to be the answer at line 13 and line 17 i'm i'm again going to say that feel free to pause this video and try to crack this down otherwise we'll continue with this video so when i run this you will first of all see woof i am mara which is this so when you call pet dot bark you'll get this name here 
which is defined here this dot name so you get this console log by calling this function bark pet dot bark which is woof i am mara but then at line 15 you deleted this function at all like there is now no link between there is no slash slash proto slash slash uh, link between dog and bark and finally when you have created this pet using dog but dog and pet doesn't know anything about bark so you will get the type error here at line 17 that pet dot bark is not a function so i hope this question is also clear let's move on to the next one okay so your next question is the difference between classical inheritance and prototypal inheritance so classical inheritance you know that it's based on a class where the class is the blueprint uh, which has been given to you and using that blueprint you create a certain objects certain things and uh, which will have uh, inherited properties from that class right uh, in in using classical inheritance you will not be using uh, the class keyword that we have in ES6 or something like that so you you can have hybrid inheritance as well like two things can inherit from one um, base class basically you will have two derived classes and one base class as well the things that we have in Java but same is not true for prototypal inheritance we have already discussed prototypal inheritance that it is a straight basically a straight chain only one uh, object can inherit and the properties and methods from its uh, above from 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 an object that is one level above from it till 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 we goes to the base object but the same is not true for classical inheritance so they these two are both separate sort of inheritance and should not be merged together or should not be confused with the with each other so classical inheritance basically deals with classes as a blueprint and then creating as many objects and uh, using new keyword uh, as you want using those classes as a blueprint but in prototypal inheritance you will be cloning the objects basically uh, the, the objects that already have some properties and methods you can inherit from those objects and create your own object with your own custom properties and uh, methods as well so both of these should be separated out and should be understood clearly i hope this question is clear let's move on to the next one So here's your next output related question where we have this function give me one pizza and it's returning something and here you have give me one chocolate and it's returning here's your chocolate now go to gym and hit the gym uh, finally you have the give me one pizza dot prototype and give me one chocolate dot prototype so feel free to pause this video let me know if you crack this question down otherwise we'll continue with this video so uh, I'm gonna run this so in the first one you get the empty basically you can say you get the constructor back whereas in, in the second one you get undefined why because this is the arrow function and this is our simple function right so arrow functions does not have the concept of this and definitely that's the reason it does not have the concept of the prototype chain so it will not be able to define its prototype what is going to be its prototype but for the simple function you will be able to define what it's its prototype which is the empty constructor as of now so i hope this question is also clear let's move on to the next one so um, here's your next question how do you get the prototype of an object or how do you set the prototype of an object so you have two methods for this the first one for getting the prototype of an object you will have a get prototype of and here you can pass your object whatever object that you want to get the prototype of so get prototype of and this object and here you will have set prototype of and here you will pass your object and uh, what prototype that you want to set here so let's say if this is the base object then it will not have any prototype so you will set null here so likewise you can create a chain and you can use these two methods to get the prototype of any object and to set prototype of any object so i hope this question is also clear let's move on to the next one 
so here's your next question how do you create an object with prototype so let's say you have this user right here and let me just give it my name and finally you want to create an object and you want to have this object as a prototype of the of the newly created object so how are you going to create this another user this is the question so we will be using object dot create for those and you will pass user here so when you will create an object using object dot create and you pass the user here so whatever properties and methods this user object has that will automatically be given to another user so if i console log another user dot name and i'll comment this out you will check that even though you called it with another user but it has this properties which was there with user object so it it created that link automatically if you are creating the object using object dot create so i hope this question is also clear and that's where we have come to the end of this video i hope you like this questions these questions are very very important when it comes to interview questions related to javascript prototypes uh, so do prepare these questions before going to your interview thank you so much for watching this video do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as well thank you so much for watching